Okay, here we're going to solve one last equation where we have variables on both sides. Here we're going to solve 6 minus x over 5 equals 3 times the quantity x plus 2 over 10. So we could start, you know, distributing out in the numerator. Um, we could break up the fraction. We could do lots of things here. Typically, I think the easiest thing to do, if you have fractions, a lot of times it's... It's easiest just to try to multiply both sides of the equation by something that will get rid of the fractions. So in this case, if we think about the least common multiple of 1, 5, and 10, the least common multiple of 1, 5, and 10 would be 10. So what's the smallest number that's divisible by 10, 5, and 1? Well, I'm going to multiply both sides by that number. Again, 10 in this case. So on the left side, if we distribute, well, 10 times 6 will be 60. I'll write it out. This is 10 over 1. We would get 10x over 5. But again, 10x over 5, that's just going to be 2x, right? So we're, we're, we're getting rid of the fractions by uh, multiplying by 10. So on the right side, the 10s will just cancel out, and we'll have 3 times the quantity x plus 2. I'm going to go ahead and distribute the 3, so we'll have 3 times x, which is 3x, three, 3 times 2 will be 6, and now it's a matter of putting all the terms involving x on one side and all the constants on the other. So the first thing I'm going to do to both sides is add 2x. Again, you could move the constants around first as well, it doesn't matter. On the left side, we'll be left with 60. 3x plus 2x is 5x. And again, I chose to add 2x. I could have subtracted 3x. But again, I just kind of observe that by adding 2x, I'm going to keep everything positive. And to me, um, I like just having things positive. It keeps me from making sign mistakes. But again, nothing says you have to do it that way. So 60 equals 5x plus 6. We'll subtract 6 from both sides. 60 minus 6 will be 54 equals 5x. And the last thing we'll do here, since we're multiplying by 5, is we'll divide both sides by 5. And then we'll have our solution. x equals 54 over 5. That doesn't reduce, so I'm going to leave our solution just like that as a fraction.